Las Vegas is known for its glitz, glamour, and of course, gambling. And while many people are able to gamble casually and for fun, easy access to gambling and other vices in Southern Nevada can more easily lead to addictions of all types. In response, the VA Southern Nevada Healthcare System recently opened the Las Vegas Residential Recovery and Renewal Center, or LVR3. The LVR3 is a 20-bed inpatient program geared towards treating gambling and substance abuse addiction. One of the things that we are noticing is that some folks just require a higher level of care, um, that an outpatient treatment program uh, is, not, uh, is not enough for what they were experiencing. And the VA has a mandate of really treating the veterans where they're at in terms of what they need. So seeing that, that there are veterans that are in need of more intensive level of care, this was really created for that. One of the veterans seeking treatment at the LVR3 is Air Force veteran Jim Romero. Jim came to the VA looking for an outpatient program for his addiction and was surprised when he found the LVR3 was an option. I think that the, it comes down to the person. You have to be, if you want to do outpatient, you definitely are going to hit the temptations and, and being home and, and having to understand that you have to change everything. You have to change your friends, your surroundings, and sometimes that may even mean your spouse. It, it, it comes to a real hard decision that needs to be made. My, exp my exposure to the domiciliary here is nothing but positive. I have to know what I need for myself. The, the outpatient is not going to work. For Jim, one of the benefits of the LVR3, in addition to the counseling and clinical treatment he receives, is the inclusion of recreational therapy in his recovery efforts. Rec therapy comes in many forms, from archery to bowling. For the staff of the LVR3, it's a crucial part of diverting an addict's abusive behaviors. I really see addiction and really a lot of things in mental health as relationships. So it's really kind of understanding someone's relationship with their addiction. Uh, and when that becomes kind of the primary connection that they have, it's going to be difficult to connect to other things. So when they're here, they're disconnected from that addiction, we need to start connecting them with other activities and other types of therapies. And that's really the role of rec therapy. Along with the rec therapy and other outings, most patients will have the opportunity to step outside the LVR3 during the day, as long as they stay on the hospital grounds. This gives them the chance to go grab some Starbucks, or for Jim, find a quiet place to knock out some push-ups. You know, for me, it's, it's very important. I uh, have to find something to preoccupy my time and take over from what I used to do. Um, believe it or not, I get a little bit of a high working out. You know, it makes us and builds uh, some self-esteem and bringing me back to a bit of normalcy. This isn't Jim's first exposure to an inpatient treatment facility, but for him, the freedom the veterans in the LVR3 have is a welcome change from his past experiences. I think you get a sense of you're not being drilled, you're not being locked down. You have a, you have a little bit of freedom because ultimately it is up to myself. It is whether I have made that decision, you know, to have your phone, I mean, I, I can stay in contact with, with the people who support me. I can still have my plan for my ideas that I have when I get out. It's, I've been to other facilities where you're, you're locked down for like 30 days and, and, and people are going crazy and it can create a, a lot of people have left. Jim says he feels the LVR3 is putting him on the right path to a better life. It's a path he would encourage any other veteran who might be experiencing gambling or substance abuse issues to take. If, if you would, people would just give the VA a chance, you know, I know a lot of our older veterans are real standoffish and, and it's just if you give it a chance and come in and just start with that little bit of trust, then you, you're definitely well on your way. Reporting for the VA Southern Nevada Healthcare System, I'm Joshua Gray.